Hello and welcome champions in another video about a Warframe and today it's about the Catabolist. Catabolist received a new augment called the Critical Mutation. Each kill increase critical chance and critical damage by 30% up to 300%. That's really deadly and I'm gonna make a mana out of this weapon after watching this video. I promise you, I promise you, every Tanu is gonna have this weapon in his arsenal. Gonna start taking down the whole star shard, steel path, whatever. It's gonna go beyond end game, and you'll see. Okay, reduced by 30% when fewer than three enemies are struck by the grenade explosion. And we're gonna go through the builds, everything you need to know. Let's start. As always, we take a friendly approach for the new players. So, you take the weapon blueprint from the bio lab in your uh, dojo. This weapon deals primarily corrosive damage. It have it like built in like any other weapons with toxin electricity or so on. It have one uh, punch through and it is a primarily beam. But if you reload, you throw the grenade at the enemies. That grenade, it's like a secondary damage in this uh, weapon. All right, the grenade that you throw every time you reload it have a feature to it the damage the critical chance the statue chance and explosion range of that grenade is affected by how many bullets left in your magazine when you reload for example if you reload when you have 49 out of 50 you're gonna do pew. if you have zero out of 50 go you, you get the idea so that's that's the math behind it all right couple tips and tricks the increasing your magazine capacity have no effect in your grenade damage meaning Putting ribbons and mods to increase the magazine will not have effect on the damage. Of course, you can have extra magazine. That's perfectly fine. But it doesn't affect the damage. That means if we lower the magazine, uh -huh, that means we're going to reach the peak of having zero magazine to throw the grenade at faster. Okay. Let's say you have 100 magazine takes you one minute to reach zero to throw the grenade at zero. If you have 50, it will take you 30 seconds to throw at zero. The idea here to reload always at zero magazine capacity. So you have the maximum uh, damage, critical chance, statue chance, and the explosion range. You get the idea, Capito? Let's go. And starting with build numero uno. Okay, Revenant first. Because it has to start from here. Pistol amp, velocity, and precision. Okay? Velocity increase fire rate, precision increase your uh, secondary weapon damage, you're good to go. Don't worry, you can use Eclipse, Zata Wisp, whatever, it doesn't matter whatever you're gonna be using. It doesn't matter the frame, it doesn't matter anything. All I want you to focus here is pistol amp, velocity, and precision. Additive damage, fire rate, additive damage. Perfecto. Going to the first build. This build have two options I, I prepared for you, okay? I prepared the one, first one with, with Riven. What it means, HVC, meaning heat, viral, Corrosive with a ribbon, okay? Galvanized Diffusion, Critical Mutation, Catabolist. Uh, this is my uh, ribbon. Cold, Critical Damage, Multishot. It's replacing the cold, so I have the Viral. Galvanized Shot, Statue Chance. Uh, Primate Expel, Corrupted for Multiplicative Damage. Primate Target Cracker for Critical Damage. Uh, Pistol Pestilence for Toxin and Statue Chance. Creeping Bull's Eye for Critical Chance minus Fire Rate. And this will work for the Ammo. And here we have Secondary Mercializer on Kill, but... You can switch it to what? You can switch it to Cascadia Flare because you're going to have more. Uh, you go, you're going to have heat, okay? And you're gonna, you can switch it to secondary deadhead if you want headshot multipliers. Minus weapon recoil. It doesn't actually have a recoil, but I like the fact it stays for 24 seconds instead of Merciless for 4 seconds. But we're going to have a lot of kills. Don't uh, worry. Okay, I like the reload speed. This is why I'm using Mercialize. If I, it, if Mercialize didn't have reload speed, I would be using Deadhead. Okay, if you don't mind the reload speed, go ahead. Okie dokie. Now let's go to this little boys here, the Heavy Corrupted, and check the weapon. Now remember, this is a this is a galvanized weapon, so or, or never mind. Okay, so reaching zero, hitting one. That's uh, 120. Okay, hitting second. That's uh, 270. Okay, hitting third. There you go. One million. And you're good to go. Now, I'm going to show you the same build, but without a ribbon. So you don't say, oh, this is like with, the, with the ribbon, you know? Like, that's how we did it, like with the ribbon. Okay, replacing the ribbon with frostbite. Okay, if you don't want frostbite, you can always use... Uh, the, where is it? Frost. Oh, come on. Cold. Okay, there you go. Icy Frost, but Icy Frost have a bit downside to it, meaning gonna have a magazine capacity. I don't, I don't think it's a downside actually. It's okay. I'm gonna just even use it. Okay. 
the magazine capacity will take you longer time to reach zero to hit the grenade. Frostbite will keep it the same way. Now up, up to you. I would I, I like the magazine capacity. I don't mind hitting for longer beam as I have a fire rate in my uh warframe. It's gonna be really quick. Okay, I will hit longer, be sure the enemy is dead. Boom. Boom. And uh, hitting the grenade. That's 120 as always. There you go. And boom. Ta-ta, ta-ta. Now this is without a ribbon, okay? And ta-ta. There you go. 4 million, no problem. Easy. Okay. So what we're going to do now, you need to understand something really quick. This one. Reduce by 30% when fewer than 3 enemies are struck by, three, by the grenade explosion. So... This weapon likes gatherings. So bring your Cordon Nautilus, bring your uh, Ensnare Cora, bring your uh, Zephyr Pool, bring whatever. Okay? Bring whatever you want. Larva from Nidus. You know, uh, Vuban. Anything that can pull enemies, you're gonna be good to go. Okay, let's jump to Steel Path with this build and I'll show you how powerful it is. And then we move to the second build. Now pay attention, boys. Alright, here we are on Steel Path with our weapon. Boom! Wow, look at that. This build doesn't like hiding like this, but the next one will. The next one will be just you can hide like this and hit whatever. The problem with this build, it does a lot of damage. How is that a problem? At the cost of ammo. Meaning, a frame that's not tanky enough or can't move around a lot near enemies will suffer the end of ammo. Just like you see me right here. Okay, I am out of ammo, so I need to come out. Okay, so think of this as this is a level cap. What will happen to Sequishi frame? It will instantly dead. Okay, and yes, this weapon can take you level cap. Now, 17 million, easy, no problem. Now, this build will not fail you in damage, but it will fail you in ammo if you don't move. That's the downside of this. But the next weapon, you will not be spamming... The, de the explosion a lot but you will never run out of ammo ever like okay some friends of mine say Hank, the catabolists have a problem with the ammo right have a problem with the ammo Hank okay I solved it there is no problem okay is this build you have to move that's all you have to do but be careful don't die okay the next one it will be about staying still Okay, so now we're gonna jump directly to the Acolyte to see how powerful this weapon against it. And, oh my god, guess who's coming? It is Vinyls himself. Perfect. I mean, what else do you want more? I mean, if Vinyls coming, and we can kill Vinyls, no problemo. Look at us moving around. Look at us. Vinyls. I mean, one of the most hated Acolytes ever. Uh, but, no problem. Okay, emptying my ammo. And hitting our boy violence and he's dead. No problem. I mean violence always creates problems. Okay, let's extract for the next build. And here we are back in simulacrum with the second build. The second build is gonna be with secondary encumber. We're gonna take away the heat. It's gonna be beam pistolier riven viral and corrosive. The next one is without a ribbon. There you go. This is with a ribbon. This is without a ribbon. Okay. The, the change is simple as like removing the ribbon and putting ice storm. Same thing, okay? Just we remove the heat out of the equation now. Okay, so this build is about killing any type of enemy. Infested, corrupted, corpus, grenier, you name it. It's gonna be dead. And if it's so tanky and it doesn't wanna die, Encumber will make sure of it. It's gonna apply the statue it requires to die. So think about, about priming enemies, killing them enemies, detonating enemies, exploding enemies. Everything this build have and takes you level cap, no problem. You, and the best thing about this, you don't need to move. You can find a hole in steel path and go AFK if you can macro or whatever. Okay, so, but there is things we need to change. Now we go back to Revenant, pistol arm the same. Now we remove it velocity and we switch it to pistolier. Pistolier on pistol headshot kill, 60% chance for 100% ammo efficiency. And you will see how powerful this is. Okay, now we're going to enhance a bit our gameplay. We're going to remove Wyrm Prime and we're going to equip Nautilus. Now Nautilus, why? The cordon and be sure to put the modes the same way in the same order. Why? Because you because Papa Hank take care of new players, alright? Things nobody tell you. In the sentience or your companions, the order you put the mods, 
especially the mods that has effect that meaning what the sentient going to do okay the order you put it that's how he gonna do it so he gonna cordon vacuum assault enhance but enhance doesn't work because it's a boost for health so cordon vacuum assault meaning he going to pull enemies first he gonna vacuum loot and then he gonna attack enemies but he gonna do them all fast so he gonna cordon vacuum and assault so you're gonna see it like assaulting cordon vacuum but it's gonna be cordoning always as priority anyway volklock why to activate our tenacious bond passing 50% critical chance okie dokie now you are set you are ready bada bim bada boom now to enhance things a bit you can always have Unairo to armor what to armor strip with the second ability or create the bubble with the first ability no problemo showing the build now let's go secondary encumber you see this is the doing of nautilus pulling enemies to you i didn't want to use it in the beginning so you don't get confused what's pulling the enemies boom look at those status boom look at that boom 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 and you're not running out of ammo baby i can't even hit my detonation now in steel path things will be different because in steel path you will run here and there out of uh, ammo and you will be able to hit your lovely lovely uh detonation bomb okay look at that are you getting what i'm trying to show you here you don't right let me take you to steel path to show you what exactly it's about and here we are in steel path i promised you going afk right papa hank always delivers there you go let's kill this and now we park at the door right here so the idea here is as you can see i have one ammo left you see that but it's not consuming because it's 102 percent 102 percent baby ammo efficiency now it's gone boom red crits easy so it's not weak in the explosion at all but you will never run out of ammo and you're gonna be encumbering the reason i put encumber here is to be sure because there is no explosion because i want to maximize my like kpm kill per minute kps kill per second you name it as much as possible without relying on the explosion so you can just still steal and keep hold of your like uh, fire and just stay there you don't need to do anything and the enemy will eliminate everything now you would say okokur would do the same yes okokur would do the same 100 percent but okokur when it runs out of ammo it doesn't have the explosion to clear enemies okay it doesn't okay so i think this weapon in a way it's superior than okokur i know a lot of us say no no way that's your answer see that i mean now which build you use that's totally up to you are you willing to move around and uh, collect the ammo go ahead use the first build are you like lazy and want to stand still in octavia or any squishy frame that doesn't want to like here you go you can use this one that's totally up to you boom okay let's check how it go against the acolyte and i gotta be very lucky for this video as i have violence spawning and uh, i don't know what is happening but yeah i got violence and i just went for armor stripping him and now probably i'll be dead but uh, it is what it is okay there we go so i'm gonna be just flying around oh i can detonate oh no i cannot do it too late okay i'm gonna just be flying around beaming him okay because you know you can't get close to him and boom one shot it that's how you treat violence that's how you disrespect violence let's extract to show you next and now for the next build which is the boom heat this one is more relying about the explosion because we're going for the synth char charge now 200 percent bonus damage on final shot requires magazine six or higher don't worry about that we're going for cascadia flare so we're going to be having the 480 percent damage and then we're gonna go for the cascadia for that we need to remove uh, the pistolier from our uh, revenant and we go for uh, velocity baby okay there you go a critical hit 90 percent chance for uh, 120 fire rate let's go check how it works as always against 195 heavy corrupted gunners pull gate pulled by nautilus now you know when you see nautilus okay we know what's going on boom you get it 
You get it, right? The, this build is about the mainly about the explosion. So a Riven with negative magazine capacity on this build is best in slot. You get it? Yes, it is very powerful. It's very deadly. I totally agree with you. And I know I make the greatest builds of all time. Yeah. Thank you guys. Big love. <laughs> Here we go. Boom. 9 million, 4 million, easy. One shotting everything, no problemo. You'd say, by vis visually, you would say, Oh, Hank, this is the best build you made today. Oh, that's up to you to decide. All right. And because Papa Hank always take care about new players, and I get a lot of comments, Hank, why don't you make us a new player stuff? Why don't you make us a new player, uh, whatever? I okay, okay, okay. Here you go. Newbie, a newbie, a newbie, a newbie build. Barrel Diffusion, no galvanized. Target Cracker, Critical Damage, no Prime. Pistol Pestilence, Toxin. Crit critical Mutation from the Night Wave, easy. Ornate Strike, pure damage, no uh, multiplicative damage. Synth Charge for bonus damage, easy. Frostbite for cost at a chance. Creeping Bullseye for critical chance. If you don't want, if you're going enemies beyond 500 with this build, okay, you can just, uh, you know, throw. Uh, not this, but the normal one, okay, which one it is? Wait, Corrupted? Corrupted, 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 bada bip, bada boom. Here, look, boom. throw this one inside, okay? You're gonna be, you're going to be happy, okay? But for now, we're gonna use uh, the uh, Ornate Strike. Okay, let me show you the build. And I want you to pay attention, I didn't use Eclipse at all. Here you go, here you go, my friend, the new player who doesn't have anybody to worry, to care about. All right, look at it. Nobody care about you, right? Here you go, Papa Hank does. Boom, boom, boom. I can't, I can't, I can't believe I missed the grenade. Let me do it one more time. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I missed the grenade. It passed through there. Yeah, new player, new player. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Okay, here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Six million. I mean, come on. If you're a new player just starting the game and you get this weapon build from Papa Hank and you're doing six million damage against everyone 195, have you got up the gunners? I don't think you're gonna be. Uh, anywhere more happy so hit the subscribe button okie dokie guys by this we come to an end to this video i told you this weapon is going to be a meta and i created this meta meta uh build a lot of tenos will be running around now building this weapon as i'm going to make it famous okay uh, i'm sure i trust i have i'm confident i'm co i'm confident boys with this catabolist okay uh join our discord the link on the description if you want to see more of this content hit that uh, subscribe button thank you so much in advance and i want to say thank you so so much for everyone that's been supporting me all in all this journey on the scene and behind the scene big love and i see you guys next time let me know in the comments below are you going to build it and buy a river buy a, buy a river now before everybody know Let's go. See you guys.